Hail to the Sun Lord, hail! Glorious King of Light, bless us all this day. Hey Tubies, it's Psychic Bob. Well, welcome to Thursday as a vlog Thursday. Anyways, I was gonna take you guys to it. Whoa, that was all. The accident almost happened. <sighs> Drama! <Ooh. laughs> well, it's good to be with you guys. And um, anyways, I know I told you we might go someplace mystical and magical today, but just because of my schedule, I had some important uh, business meetings come up that I've got to attend today. So I'm not going to be able to do that. But we'll do that maybe next week. So just hang with us. We're just having a chill day. And uh, I'm enjoying walking here under our Sun Lord. He is just magnificent. Yay! Hail Sun Lord. And hail all my tubies. You know, for those of you who were here yesterday, thank you for coming out to our video. We were in a snowstorm, but today the skies are clear. Well, look at the birds go by. And all the snow is gone. It ended up turning to rain yesterday and everything melted. But like here you can see, we still have a little bit of remnants of snow. But for the most part, everything is back to being green and the sky is blue. So I'm really thankful for you guys that uh, you came along for yesterday's video and just hang with us today. <laughs> These are some nice tan houses near where I live and they're getting all new siding on them. See, they're working on it. It looks beautiful. It's gonna be nice. That's progress for you. <laughs> There's some construction equipment. They worked on these ones last week. Now they're working on those ones over there. Pretty cool. Here's some more remnants of snow that remain. You see just little patches here and there. Some of you wrote to me and said you had big snow yesterday where you lived, and I think that's very exciting. I want some snow here. I don't think I really got a real snow yesterday. It was just a sprinkling. And then it all washed away before I could enjoy it, so. I don't really count yesterday as our first real snow, because a real snow is like where we'd still have snow on the ground. <laughs> so, look at this giant raven here, guys. Oh my gosh, can we see him? I don't know if you can see him, it's hard to see on camera. Giant raven right there. He's going over there. Oh, there's a whole flock of them down there. I love these ravens. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Caw, 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 caw. He's ignoring me. <laughs> Look at the big ones, man. There's a whole bunch of, oh my goodness. Pretty cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. There's three of them. That's a good luck sign. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of dark. One, two, three. What are the ravens doing? Oh, they're getting some bread. You know, I think people drive through here and they drop food because it's right next to McDonald's. Pretty cool. <laughs> Hail the ravens. <laughs> Well, here we are outside McDonald's. I don't think I want to go to McDonald's today, but I got to show you some major drama happened a few days ago, which I just found out about. So, look at this. The entire front of McDonald's is boarded up. You remember the Mercedes dealer where I said all the glass was smashed? Well, they told me that a car was backing out of this parking space and they hit the gas and, celebrate, and they flew backwards and smashed up the entire front of McDonald's. In fact, let's go inside. I'll show you. We're in the lobby area, but you can see this is some major damage. All the glass was shattered out, and look, the tables were even damaged here. All the booths, let's see if I can zoom in and you can see this. Actually, if people had been sitting there, they would have been killed because the booths totally came down. All the metal came down off the ceiling and the walls. It looks like an earthquake came through here. But yeah, this is under major repair now. 
Yeah, so major drama. Car drove through our McDonald's. I tell you, I don't know what's up with cars these days. I think it's that smart technology. I think people are relying on that and cars are being controlled by it. And so cars are driving through the Mercedes dealer window. Now they're driving through McDonald's window. And last year we had a car actually drive through the uh, CVS. It went through the whole, the whole window of the store. So I don't know, it's like three times this has happened in my area. I think it's high technology getting control of these cars. I think so. Oh, our son Lord is just glorious today. He's already moving to the west and it's just around lunchtime, 12 30, 1 o'clock. But that way is the further west. He'll move across the sky that way and he'll sink down. Anyways, unfortunately, I can't go far from home today because I have some important business meetings. I can't get into details right now, but I'm working on some projects outside of YouTube. That could be very fun and exciting. So I've got to meet with some people that want to have a have a, a meeting with me. It's not a reading; it's actually a business meeting. So that's why we can go where I was going to take you today. And I'm not, still not going to tell you where we were going to go because I'll surprise you. But you know what? Since I got to stay close to him, I thought we'd have another day and come up to Shooters. You know, because I want to check out that chicken sabata sandwich. That looked so good yesterday. I had fish and chips yesterday. Here's their outdoor patio. Look at their beautiful greenery vines hanging here. It's lovely. There's their Christmas wreath. And you know, I love the big magic star outside. You know, any business puts a pinnacle outside their house gets my uh, business. Well, let's go get some food. Come on along. To be sick where I am, I'm in my booth at Shooters. This is on the other side today. There's the bar over there, and they got the new seating here. This is kind of cool because, like, they can have an entire giant group fit in here, and it works out nicely. So they can put all the little tables together, and they can sit a lot of people. So that's kind of cool. I'm trying to decide what I want to get. They got the lunch specials now. They've started doing that again, which I used to do, and they have really good deals on that. I'm thinking about the soup and sandwich today, and it says grilled steak, caramelized onions, and provolone cheese multi-grain bread served with soup of the day and soup of the day is broccoli cheese that sounds really good i might do that i have omelets too and i like omelets the chicken sliders buffalo chicken sliders the blue plate special three breaded chicken sliders tossed in buffalo sauce topped with blue cheese served with our hand cut fries inside of our shooters blue cheese dressing that sounds good too Here's the business lunch, smoked barbecue brisket wrap. Or the other special is the meatloaf wrap. Now that's different, never heard of a meatloaf wrap. No, that's different. Housemade meatloaf, mashed potatoes, crispy onions, roasted corn, and marinated tomatoes stuffed in flour tortilla wrap, served with hand cut fries. That's different. Always something good here. I got my nice cold coca-cola and I'm still working on my book witch heart so I have to tell you a funny story about books so if you ever buy a book online and you don't realize how big it is until you get it <laughs> well I bought a book on Margaret Thatcher because I always loved Margaret Thatcher and I found her uh, her memoirs of her Downing Street years her life as Prime Minister and I thought I'd like to read that because I always liked her. Well, the book arrived yesterday, and I didn't realize I'd ordered a hardback book. And it's literally like 800 pages. And it's literally like, it stands like about a foot tall, like it's like that thick, like if this is the table, like it's like that thick. And it's like massive. And it's like such a big book, I can't even get it in my bag. And to carry it, it's like 20 pounds. <laughs> so it's like, that sucks because I was buying it thinking it was a smaller paperback and I could just carry it to lunch with me because I always like to have a book for lunch but it's one of these books that I'm going to only be able to read it at my house because it's so big so it'll be a kind of a sit on my table book and not move so anyways it's a good book but I just started it last night anyways I'll show it to you another time but so today I'm working on this book you know I usually have like five books going at any time so Ah, this Coke is calling to say goodbye. Mm. 
Oh, two bees. Look what arrived. My lunch. I got the soup and sandwich. Oh, this looks delish. Mmm. Cream of broccoli soup. Oh my god, and this is like a steak sandwich. <gasps> this looks so good. Mmm. And they brought me a new Coke. Sig Bob's in heaven. On a cold day, this is perfect. Oh my god, look at this. I just put some crackers in my soup. Oh, this is so delish. I'm so excited about it. Thank you. That was really good. <laughs> Where's my dad? <laughs> oh man, this soup is beyond delicious. I mean, I tell you, that's like the best soup I ever had, literally, in my whole life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Shooter's gone all posh now. They used to just have a ketchup bottle on the table. Now you have to have it served in a little serving dish. That's all right. It's ketchup's good. So put some on my sandwich here. Oh, this sandwich looks awesome too. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. The best. Oh my gosh, guys! Look what they just enrolled me in the Shooter McGee's Lunch Club. They just brought this to me, and it says, "Buy five lunches at the bar and get nine dollars off your next lunch." So, because I had lunch here yesterday, and today I got two down. So after three more lunches here, I get nine dollars off, which is really cool. Which is basically a free lunch. So, you know. So, yay! Say goodbye as a member of the Shooter McGee's Lunch Club. Yeah, I love it. I'm so excited about Shooter McGee's. But I'm definitely gonna tuck that card inside my Goyard wallet. I love this wallet. This is a Goyard wallet. I've had it over 10 years. It's a really high quality wallet. It's been really great and I enjoy it. But um, anyways, you know, Louie told me he was upset because he said, you have a Goyard wallet. And he said, that's not part of my family. He wants me to have a Louis Vuitton wallet. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to stick with my Goyard wallet for now because I really like it. <laughs> Louie will deal with his jealousy. Ah, uh, Tubies, that was an awesome lunch. There is our Sun Lord shining down. This is being a really quite a lovely day. So, anyways, we're gonna walk on along and just have a little after lunch stroll. So, come hang with us. You know, Tubies, as I'm walking along, I'm right here outside the Landmark Honda dealer. And they always have the best flowers growing outside their dealership. And I want to bring your attention to this wonderful bush here. Now, right now, we're in the middle of winter and everything's dead. You can see the flowers. But this is a rose bush. And I want you to look, though, that even in the dead of winter, there are mystical signs. Can you see this flower blossom here? Now, it's not yet bud, but in the spring, it will come back to life. But I want you to look at the shape of it. Do you realize what you're seeing here? There is the magical star, the five point star, the pentagram. One, two, three, four, five points. And this bush is filled with pentagrams. There's another one right here. The five pointed star of magic. Can you see that? Isn't that beautiful? So the signs of life and the goddess are with us even in the dark time. And so the mystical pentagram reminds us that divinity is in charge of the universe and life will be renewed. So it's just something to think about because I know where some of you are say, Bob, it's gray skies and I'm depressed. Everything's dead. Well, things are just sleeping. Nothing really ever dies, including our own souls. Sometimes our bodies sleep, but our souls will live forever. Here's some more little pentagrams. Can you see that? There's a little five pointed star there. Just beautiful. That is the sign of the goddess. So know that life will renew. And when those bushes start to bloom again, we'll be sure to show them to you. Gosh, we're right outside the dreaded CVS. But I'm not going to go there today. I don't need to go. So we're going to just keep walking and observe nature. 
and have some peace in our day. You know, after you have a big lunch, it's good just to walk a little bit. It helps digestion. It just is a kind of a way to balance your body. Just my experience. <laughs> I love the tall, majestic pine trees that are along this road here. We've got some amazing oaks up here on the hill. You see these triple, I call it the triple oaks. One, two, three oaks. They're massive and just beautiful. In the autumn, they were really lovely. But I think there's something specially magical about this little hill area because I can't tell you how many times I've come out here and seen deer. And they, the deer live over in those woods, but they come all the way up here, they cross the street, and then they go right up here and walk around these trees, always circling these three trees. I mean, there are a lot of oaks over there. I don't know why they come to these, but they feel a connection. And I can understand. I think these trees are very magical. It's so nice just to walk along and connect to the earth, isn't it? Do you have any places that you go walking? Do you have any favorite trees that you observe? I'd love to hear about it. And here we are at the footbridge. Beautiful. Even in the dead of winter, it's just something I love about this bridge. This is where our golden poppies were. They're all gone now, but you know, in the spring, they'll come back too. So we have a lot to look forward to because there is going to be renewal. And now, while we watch the world sleep, we know that it's a message for us to go within, to work on our psychic selves, our spiritual selves. That's what winter's about. Our sun lord's creeping further and further to the west. He's trying to hide behind that building. Hail to the sun lord. I'm right here by the river that runs near my home. It's just beautiful here. In the summer, as many of you have been following and have seen, it's a lush greenery. Now it's faded and not as colorful, but it's still beautiful. And I always say I have the biggest scrying mirror of anybody on YouTube. There's my scrying mirror. <laughs> I do see visions in this river, so I think it's very powerful. You know, even though it's cold, you should go out and walk. Sometimes walking in the winter gives you a whole different perspective. Now make sure to bundle up. I don't want anybody writing me saying, Bob, I've been in the hospital for three days of frostbite. But I did go out walking like you said. <laughs> no, we don't want that. Bundle up good, but go out and discover the world. You know, so many people are disconnected from life because they don't ever touch the earth. You know, I'm walking on deep, rich, black soil. The soil in this area is practically black. It's so rich minerals and moisture from the river here. But you know, when you walk along the river, you start to know the moods of the river. Like, you know when it's going to freeze over. And you know when it's going to be, you know, flowing rapidly. And you just have a sense. You know when the geese are going to come and land on the water. Yep. But you only know those things if you take the time to get up close and personal, to walk, to feel the earth. Our Sun Lord is casting long shadows across the lawn here. This is the shadow here that stretches all the way across the street. You see that line? That shadow is coming from that building. It's the edge of that building. But I think our Sun Lord's back there just waiting. Let's see if we can find him. Here, Sun Lord, will you come out? Here, Sun Lord. Where are you? Now look guys, if we look at the ground, we can cross the line. Did you ever see a movie, uh, what was it, um, Interview with a Vampire? It was kind of like this, it's like if they could stand in the shadow, right? But if they cross in the light, they would dissolve. So like you could get that close to the light. Here Sun Lord, here Sun Lord. Oh, there he is, our majestic Sun Lord is coming out to play. Hail, great and glorious Sun Lord. Hail, King of the sky. King of our solar system. Sun Lord, I ask your blessing today on all of my YouTubers. May they have your blessing of warmth and light and life and joy. 
Soma to thee. Hail, Sun Lord. Hail. Hail, Sun Lord. Hail. We touch your golden rays. Hail. Well, Tubies, I so enjoyed spending a little bit of time with you today. I hope wherever you are, you're having a blessed day. So thank you for taking the time to come out on this adventure and this walk today. I have to get home now. I've got to get ready for some meetings. But I've so enjoyed being with you. And I hope that you're having an awesome day. Tell me in the box below, do you go out walking in the winter? Where do you go? What's your favorite thing to go see? Do you have a special tree or a river or a rock? Tell me about it below. I want to hear from you guys. Also, a quick reminder, don't forget, you can still register for my psychic development class. This Saturday, we'll be having the class from 12 noon Eastern to 2 p.m. Eastern time um, on Zoom. And you can read about that and register over at my website, psychicbob.com. So make sure to um, go over there to psychicbob.com and register for the class today. And I look forward to seeing you guys at Psychic Development this Saturday. Blessed be. And make sure to help me out, please. Like this video, favorite it, thumbs up, and share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so, hit subscribe. Join our channel. We'd love you to be here. We put out a video every day. And tomorrow we'll be back here for Free For All Friday. Not sure what we're going to do yet, but just show up. We'll have some fun. I love you guys. Blessed be. We'll see you tomorrow. When I was a kid, I used to love to do this. There's ice. Look. Ice. It's like breaking glass. Say <laughs> goodbye. I was still a kid at heart. I <laughs> have to break up the ice. <laughs> I'm looking for icicles. Don't see any yet. Well, guys, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you tomorrow. Blessed be.